welcome to Ralphie Meyer Memorial Stadium and Homecoming 2015. Fantastic. Let's greet the 2015 edition of the Fighting Chats Marching Band and the Caledonia Pipes and Drums under the direction of Mr. Kyle Welfare. The band is led on field by drum majors Tyler DeVos, Nick Curry, and head drum major Adam McVeigh.
Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to tonight's homecoming game. I'm Brian Betty. Jerry Hoover's out of town. Rich McCarty's filling in tonight. Thank you, Rich. Hello. Hello, everybody. Coming in. Uh, big crowd here. Rich, homecoming. It's always kind of a festive thing. A lot more people come to this game. Yep. It's a nice you got to come early to get a parking spot. Yes, you do. Absolutely. So we'll get talking about the game here in a minute. Um, they'll probably have the national anthem. We'll do some things, and then we'll uh, get started after that. That sounds great. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and face the play. Gentlemen, please remove your hats as the choral layers under the direction of Kara Stevens sings our national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. Well, nice job by the choir there on the National Anthem. Again, welcome to tonight's homecoming game. Caledonia coming in. Kind of non-typical for Caledonia. Rich, they struggled here and lost four games in a row. But when you look at the schedule, East Grand Rapids, Mona Shores, Rockford, Lowell. Yeah, there's there's no teams that are going to lay down for Caledonia. I'll tell you that right now. So you got to fight for everything you got. This, this league, we talk a lot about this league, you know, being as tough as it is top to bottom every week. You know, the OK Whites, the they talk about that being probably one or if not the toughest the division out there. And it's, it, it's tough every week to, to play against teams like that, you know. So hopefully tonight Caledonia can turn it around and you get a homecoming win anyways and salvage some part of their season here a little bit. Well, tonight would be the night to do that. That'd be great. Again, another big crowd here tonight. Beautiful night. Field's in great shape. Just a nice night to be. Where else would you want to yep. be, right? Yep. High Kinda school like football. Kind of like class reunion when you come here, you know? <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. It is on homecoming night anyways, isn't it? Exactly. All right, we're getting ready to kick off here. Caledonia will kick off. The Grand Rapids Christian, the Eagles. Tahari Braggs, bad heat for Grand Rapids Christian. So Tahari Braggs, number one. Austin Watrous. Set to kick off for the Scots. Watrous will kick off for Caledonia, and we're underway. Forty-five with the ball carrier. 
Kind of a short kick. But Ellis makes a big return back down to the Caledonia 45 Matt, yard line. Return. That was a nice little run he had there. Midfield. Well, every once in a while that pooch kick works. You know, they can't set a return up, but he managed to get a very good return and uh, Grand Rapids Christian will start in good field position at the Caledonia 45 yard line. Kyle Murphy, the ball made the tackle. That was Kyle Murphy on the tackle of that uh, kick return. A little swing pass out here to Jordan Smith for a big gain. It was, he was knocked out of bounds by uh, Jace Rogers is what I had on my uh, roster. We'll go with that, we'll go with that. So big gain on first down. Christian with a first down on the Caledonia 25 yard line. Again, a man in motion. This time. Fake the handoff and run the uh, quarterback right up the middle of there. Otis again on the key. Keeps the ball. Number 41. For Christian, he picked up about three. We'll bring up second down. Second down and seven. Empty backfield. Get a man in motion again. Fotis, this time he hands off to Braggs. Braggs is able to turn the corner. Looks like he got enough for the first down. It bumped out of bounds right, over there. Braggs, the ball carrier. Knocked out of bounds by John Velting. Be third and short. It's tough, yeah. A couple weeks ago, yeah, <laughs> numbers were tough to reach too, and their their uniforms and their their numbers and their shirt colors were almost the same. We couldn't hardly read the numbers. So last year, I didn't have that problem. I don't know what the deal is this year. Uh, we're just a year older. That's how that works. <laughs> this, this time, got a blitz coming up the Fuller's center. He's going to throw. He's got a receiver. Looks like he dropped it. Number one with pass coverage on that. That's uh, Bryce Christensen. Oh, Miles Jones. Jones was the intended receiver. Number three, a little bit behind him. Pass falls incomplete, and that'll bring up fourth down and about two. That, that so was, was wrong in the last play, Rich. I had them with a first down, but they must have went out of bounds a little short. So it is fourth down with just a, two yards to yep. go. There was initial contact over there. Must have had the foot on the sideline there. And Fotis hand off the to center. The big running back. 36, KJ Goodwin. KJ Godwin. 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 for the first down. Jake Babb with a uh, tackle Jake on that one. He's a load. He's 5'10", 225. That's about that's me. A, that's a big <laughs> It's a big running back for high school. So they were able to pick up the first down. Here, Grand Rapids Christian on the move. First drive of the game. Single back backfield. First down, ball in the 15. We got a handoff around the outside. Bryce Christensen with the initial Miles contact Jones, there. The Jones again Bryce with the carry. Christian. Pushed out of bounds with no gain or maybe a loss of a half yard. Bring up second down. Inside that red zone, you gotta be tough. Well, that's a little bit to the defense's advantage too. The field shortens up, you have less area to cover. Forty-five. Ellis is in the backfield. Fotis to pass. He's got a receiver open. I don't know if he got in or not. They're going to see he's down at the goal line. Down on the one. Tackle by Drake Ellens. Drake Ellens made the stop. First and goal. So loaded backfield this time, and he's going to give it to the big guy. Thirty-six. Godwin. And touchdown. I believe he's in. KJ Goodwin into the Goodwin. end zone. Touchdown, Eagles. Well, KJ Goodwin scores on a short plunge with 10 12 left here in the first quarter, and Grand Rapids Christian strikes first. Try for the point, and it is good. 
Extra point by Griffin Bowes is good. So after a good field position on a kick return, Grand Rapids Christian marches Four down Grand the Rapids field and puts Christian seven on the board seven. to score. Strike first zero. here early in the first quarter. Yep, they did a real good job of doing the pass of the ball. Got it on the side there and uh, seemed like they mixed tackles. Seemed like they mixed, yeah, they mixed it up a little bit, a little run, a little pass. They couple of runs with the fullback there and then a couple of quick round sweeps yep. and such and you know they're mixing it up real good and able to score. Yep. That uh, offensive line for Christian uh, is quite big. Uh, got a gentleman that's about 260. Another one that's 220. <laughs> they're like walls they get to run behind. Not missing their lunch, in other words, right? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> lunch or dinner. <laughs> Dre Pellin is back deep for the Scots. Well, Christian's having a good season this year, too. They're always tough. Again, another tough opponent here in the OK White. Yep. We'll see what Caledonia does. Caledonia still mixes their spread in their wishbone offense. Got Griffin Bowes from Christian that's going to kick off. Ellens with a return. He's tripped up at about the 18-yard line. Great That's where Allen. Caledonia will take over first and 10. The 20-yard line. Well, Rich, in past weeks here, Caledonia struggled a little bit to put points first on the board. They got a, from the got a very athletic front group. It's just, again, you run into some really good talent across the board week to week. That's right, Brian. Uh, so they're going to come out in their wishbone set. Looks Pick like up they a couple. Ran the counter on that play. And, uh, I'm not sure who the number 52 for the Christian. 21 was Hobson with the tackle. Caledonia. Kinzer the ball carrier. Picked up about two and a half, maybe three. Second down, seven yards to go. Three a carry, you get a first down. Well, that's the wishbone offense. They got to try three to four yards every time you catch the ball. Christian with a keep, and he's going to be stacked up for little or no gain. And a Christian keeps the ball. Well, he did pick up a couple. He snuck through that pile. Looks like he was going to be held up short. Hobson and Godwin make the stop. So Christian with a couple third of yards brings up third and six. The ball will be at about the... I don't know, 21, 22 yard line. Christian's got a defensive tackle, uh, number 71, Ben Harrell, weighs in at 290. Just gonna say, is that 71 down there? I'm not sure. Yep. Yeah, yeah, he's, you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Tanner, quarterback Christian, he keeps the ball. Tanner Christian keeps the ball. Brought down by Hobson. Looks like we're gonna bring out the punt team on this one. Austin Watrous back to punt for the Scots. So Caledonia unable to move the ball on their first drive. Matt Ellis back deep to Ellis. receive the punt. Ball is down at the 39 yard line. Punt is down at the 39 with Eagle to take over first. That's where Granite Butch Christian will start their second offensive series. Well, defensively, we got to get some pressure on the quarterback. Got to contain the ends. Turn that ball carrier inside so that we can get more people to the ball and make tackles. So always try to get 11 people to the ball. Right. Exactly. Fotis again drops back, getting a little pressure. pressure. Now he's going to keep it and run. There you go. Hit hard down there by 34, I believe it was. Takes Fotis down. Must be 30. What? It was 33. I thought it was 34 too. Second and 10. 
So after scrambling, Fotis was able to just get back to the original line of scrimmage. Herwire did a good job of uh, staying home. A lot of times when that ball goes away, they like to yeah, you get a quarterback uh, chase it down. scrambling. Yeah, you get out of position. He did a real good, good job. job of staying home. Fotis again back to pass. Going to go deep. He's got a man. Number 10, Lucas Thompson. Lucas Fotis is passed. Drake Ellens uh, Thompson. there to make the stop. For a first down, brought down at the 20 by Drake Ellens. So again, another nice pass by Fotis there. He hit Lucas Thompson on yep. the fly there. Big gain all the way down to the Caledonia 20. Again, Fotis goes to the air. And it looks like they got tangled up a little bit. Could have called. Good pass coverage by Kyle Murphy. Interference intended for Tahari Briggs. Murphy back in Looks like they just kind of got their feet tangled a little bit. Probably a good no call. Of course, when you're in offense, you always want the call, right? Right. <laughs> in defense, they're always wrong. You know, you, there's never. <laughs> I didn't touch him. That's right. It's Fotis again. The middle. Another handoff to the contact. big back. Okay, we got 54. Uh, Jordan Smith, Jacob Babb on that tackle. Jake Good Babb contact right away. So no gain. Third and 11. So it's third down and a short 11 or a long 10. <laughs> the flag is down markers just the other side of the flag stick there. So it is third down, 11 to go, and ball on the 21-yard line. Well, nine times out of ten, you're going to throw the ball in this uh, situation. So I would believe so. Get some, nope. yeah, he's going to hand off. Oh, good pressure. Good initial contact by uh, Ellis, the Jake player. Irons. Jake Broke through Irons the line there, made a nice real tackle. tackle. So they'll bring up fourth down, and I don't two. Christian will kick the ball, or if they'll just stay on offense. They they send in all of their assignments with big cue cards on the sideline there. I've seen that done in the pro level. I don't oh, know yeah. what, what that I all means. They do that a little bit too. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, so here we go. Fourth down, ball in the 23 of Caledonia. Christian's going to go for it. Oh, oh what, a, what a catch. What a catch by Briggs down here. A one handed grab. At the 10, and then there's a flag Initial on the play. contact by Bryce Christensen in 81. Uh, Antonio Alicia. Late flag out of bounds. Rich, I wonder if it was a unintentional or maybe intentional face mask or something. It was, well, flag came out right away when they went tumbling out of bounds. But what a grab by Briggs. One-handed. Incredible. Kind of behind. foul against the Scots. I so think he initially con uh, made contact outside the uh, field of play there, so... They thought maybe he should have held up. Well, that'll give them half t distance to the goal. And so that, I think the ball's going to be on about the four yard line of Caledonia. It's amazing how technology has changed. Joe. Fotis again, hands off to 45 that time. Matt Ellis, and he's close. He's going to mark him down Man, about the half yard line. Up, right on the half. So, again, Ellis in the backfield. He's up. 15 jumps I over. I believe he's over. We'll see. No call yet. I believe he, Caledonia stopped him. So they did. Nice job by the Caledonia defense. Nice job. Big personnel change for Christian. See what they elect to do here. Right now, it'd be a nice time, Rich, to fake to the back, roll out, little run with a run pass option. Nope, and he's just going to hand off to the. Yeah, and he's in. Yep. This time it was 28, Tyler Lamica. And off to number 28, Tyler Lamica into the end zone. Touchdown, Eagles. And Grand Rapids Christian scores again here with 5.11 to play. In the first quarter. But that was set up by that fine grab by Briggs down here, that one handed behind the back, whatever it was. Yeah, as pass I was behind to him. Say earlier, we didn't have gloves like that when we played, but they certainly helped the game, don't they? Didn't have gloves at all, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> you said to use your cold hands, right? Exactly. The extra point is good. good. So at 5 11 here, left, five in, the left in the first, first quarter. quarter, Grand Rapids Christian 14, Four. Caledonia nothing. Uh, zero. So Christian's been able to score on their first two possessions, but 
They've had good field position, Rich. They've started in Caledonia territory here. Well, their last one started just, but they're on the 40. Just on the 39 Just there. the other side. So, yeah, they've had pretty good field position early on. You know, we had a shot there. Uh, Caledonia had a shot there uh, to, uh, you know, fourth in about 11. <laughs> and they got that pass by the... Uh, yeah, he got that pass in. Just a nice play on fourth down. Caledonia had him stopped. Was able to complete that throw. Again, it was an acrobatic catch down there by Briggs. Bowen was set to kick off. Ellen back deep. So Bowes again to kick off. We'll see what uh, see if we can get a block uh, wall set up here to get that ball returned. Line drive. Got a nice wall set up. Let's break through that. I think that was Kyle Murphy on the return, I believe. Kyle Murphy returns the kick. Dockery brings him down. Scott's have it first and 10 at the 31. Again, with that big group down there, it's hard to pick those numbers out. Exactly. So, Caledonia's second possession on offense. And they'll come out in their spread. Kinzer, the ball carrier. 45 and 28 on the tackle there. Bailey Kinzer. Oh, we had, uh, Ellis and uh, Ellis and Lamika make the stop. Lamika. Second down. That's who it was. <laughs> it's the public address announcer says that's who it was. That's who it was. Okay, Rich, if if we watch too, Christian's loading right up in the box here. They're 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 there yeah. to stop the run. They're, yeah, they got five down, so. They're daring you to throw the football here, so. We got a. Timeout. Timeout, Grand Christian. Christian. Well, Christian's got seven guys down sometimes. And that's just tough to run against. Yeah. There's just too many, and too many defenders to too many blockers, <laughs> and you're just, that's just not going to work. And so. Some of those guys weighing over two, 200 pounds. Yeah, they do. They're big up front. He, they almost count as two men. They're big, and if they have any athletic ability at all, they're going to be tough to move around yep. in there. Filling gaps, making tackles. Just stalemate the guy for across from you, right? Yep. Well, they are. Christian is pretty much daring Caledonia to throw the football right now. They're just they're loading up to stop the run. First series mm -hmm. in the wishbone set. They did a nice job stopping that. I don't Caledonia, think Caledonia tends to run yet. a lot out of their spread set and uh, hey, I got five down, six down. Quarterback keeper. Christian, he's gonna be thrown and for a Christian, loss. The ball carrier. Godwin makes the stop. Godwin with the tackle on that one. Well, Christian, it's their defense if you watch, they sent that guy in motion. They sent a guy with them. They're third down and six. They've been coached really well here. They they've yep. They've studied a lot of film here on Caledonia. You can tell for sure. De uh, defensively, you know, they're everybody's doing their job. They're staying home, filling gaps. Uh, the outside is staying home, not getting sucked in by the fake going to the other side. Third down, we're going to pass. Nice pass, got a first down. That one's complete to Bryce Christian. Good for Caledonia, first down. Able to get enough for a first down. Tackle by Miles Jones on that. Up around the 42, 43 yard line for Caledonia, so fresh set of downs. Momentum's what we look for. That's what this game's all about, isn't it? Yes, sir. Seven men down on defense now. Nothing there. Time. Tanner Christian. Tanner Christian contact. Kept the ball. Tyler Lamica Tried to turn it inside, but 
defense was there, no gain, bring up second down. I had Jackson Simons on that tackle, number 61. Second down. Second and 10, ball still right at the 43 yard line, 240 left here. First quarter. So again, they stay in their spread. Six down. Okay. Ball given. Look an opening. Bryce Christians. Tackle by. Broke uh, through that line. Bailey Kinzer, I'm sorry. Miles Jones. Kinzer. Miles My mistake. You break through that first line, there's some open. Uh, well, that's open it. They're loading there. up. You see that a lot. They load right up on a line of scrimmage. We have a. Timeout, Eagles. So big run by Kinzer. And gives Caledonia first down inside the 20-yard line of Grand Rapids Christian. Well, that's what they needed, Ritz. They need to get something started here. Like you mentioned, a little momentum going. Score now. This game's not out of hand. 14, a big deal. Nope, very manageable. Score now, you're only down seven, and that would be this very manageable score here. So and, uh, let the defense do their job, make a stop, and but get the ball back. But how many times do you see that, like on fourth and short sometimes, that a back breaks it for a big one because they're loaded right up? Right. After that initial three yards, there isn't anybody. So if you yep. can get through that, you can probably get a big gain every time. So here we go, Caledonia. First down in the 19. Another big hole there. Kinzer again. Good blocking up front. Bailey Kinzer carries to the middle. Ellis with a tackle. Matt Ellis. Got a Christian player down. Slow to get up. It's one of their defenders. I think it's 20, is that 28? Second and four from the Namika limping. Quarterback keep, still got. And Amika's down, he couldn't even. For a first down. He couldn't even start the play, coach. He, he limped back to his spot, and when the play started, he tried to cut, and he just went down. Stop. Yep. Well, unfortunately, we didn't run that way. If we would have ran that way, maybe we would have been in. So again, first down. Ball on the three. Ball up the center. I think he's in. Lunges in. Touchdown, Caledonia. Comes with 119 here left in the first quarter. Puts Caledonia on the board. That's a great answer. Great answer they had there. Watchers' kick is up, and it's no good. No good. Far wow. left. Just wide. So the score remained 14 to 6. But again, Many nice answer by Caledonia that time. Ridge second offensive series. You got to get something started and get some points on the board. That's right, Brian. Got to get the uh, momentum back in there. Hopefully, we can get defense back out there, and they can uh, again. Well, it get, carries stop carries over to the defensive side Correct. of the football. Yeah, great job. Nice run that set up by that big run by Kinzer. And you hoping a, this could end up being a close game that that one point sometimes becomes a real factor. I think that's why they've changed it at the pro level to make that game a little more interesting. Moving right. It back. So they have Ray a few more misses back. to make those games a little exactly. more, a little more exactly. interesting, which I think was a kind of a cool move. That was a it good is. deal, yeah. Wins a little bit different factor on the 35 than it is on the uh, yeah. <laughs> Watch us for the, the 10. big booming kickoff. Drives nice Riggs tackle. Back. Oh, good initial hit. 13. 
Craig returned to kick. It's Gorby. Gorby uh, changes with a nice uh, hit on that. So very make the stop. First and ten Eagles from the twenty. Well, the big kick up by Rodgers and Christian's going to start now at their own twenty. Well, Caledonia obviously uh, setting up for the pass in the outside. So three down, five linebackers. They did a counter by uh, Christian. Tackle by uh, Eric Smith, Rittinger. Smith number two, the ball carrier. Gain of five, second and five. Jake Irons on that tackle. 42 is Rittinger. So Caledonia's mixing their defense up a little bit. They're playing with three and four down linemen. <laughs> Fotis's pass out there. Complete to number 10. Drake Ellens with the tackle. Thomas with the Lucas reception. Thompson. Makes the stop. Nice initial hit. Stop, but I believe he had enough for the first down. The chain gang's moving. So got enough for a first down. Up ball up to the 30 yard line of Grand Rapids Christian. Smith in motion. Fumble. Fumble. Caledonia, Caledonia recovers. recovers. Well, there's your break. Recovered by number 22. Justin. Well, there's your break, coach. You're always looking for a turnover or something. And yep. Fotis looked like I don't think he meant to hand off. In the 24 for the Scots. Just no, knocked they, uh, it out of his hand. I think it was going to be a fake, and he had the ball out too far and knocked it out of his hands. Yeah. The running back just kept on running like he was playing out his fake there. Well, we have a timeout on the field, but a big turnover timeout by Caledonia at the 24-yard line will puts them in really good shape here with 23 seconds left in the first quarter. Well, we hadn't really talked about that up to this point, but you always do talk about turnovers, kicking game, those kind of things that can make a difference in a football game. And Caledonia has the opportunity to the first turnover tonight. Generally, uh, rule of thumb, you know, whoever has the most turnovers, most likely we're going to lose, but not always the case. Stadium. Seniors and their parents will assemble in front of the North Concession area at the close of the game for instructions. So here we go again. Going to put Christian called timeout. Got whatever squared away they needed, and Caledonia's going to come out. They're still in their spread. Christian kind of switching up, only going with five down on the down lineman with three linebackers. Christian Quarterback keeps the ball. That's a good solid run by Christian. Good hard run by number 10, Christian. They're going to mark him down right about the 15, about a foot short of the first down. About a foot down. short, yep. So that'll be it for the first quarter, Rich. A entertaining first quarter here, 14 to six, but Caledonia driving. Yeah. You know, if, if you show up in between the uh, touchdown Rapids and the uh, fumble recovery, you're thinking, six. oh, why'd I show up? But turn it into quite a game right now. So here we go, Caledonia with the ball, first and 10. Well, this is second down, they are short, but again, they're in the 15 yard line of Grand Rapids Christian. and. Opportunity here to get within a point, maybe go for two and tie the game up. Yeah, you you might consider that. Uh, At some point, you're going to have to go for it, regardless. That's for sure. So pick your time and yep. I mean, if you're moving the ball and you got momentum, be a good time to go for it. Well, they definitely got that back in their side right now. But it's, it's way easier to coach from up here than it is down there. Oh right? yeah. Because we've just, been able, we've had the luxury, we've had an <laughs> opportunity to coach from both sides. It's been kind of fun. Yep. Been real enjoyable being part of the Caledonia football program. It's a lot easier coaching from up here, though, isn't it? Yeah, I wish I had a little bit comfier chair, you know, like on Saturday <laughs> when you're watching the, the big college games. The Saturday afternoon chair, right? Exactly. All right, well, here we go. Second, Second down, down with a yard. Yard to go. Christian again is going to keep Christian. it. Good He's footwork. Up. He's got his first. 
I think he got a first down. He's, yep. yeah, he's an elusive <laughs> runner. I, we've watched him now for a few weeks, and he's That's for sure. he's very elusive for no bigger than he is. Good he's he's he runs hard. 5'11", 180 is if he's 5'11". I don't know. <laughs> maybe with his helmet on, standing on his sure. tiptoes. Sure. Yeah, but. You got extension cleats on there, maybe. But anyway, he's a very tough runner. Yep. That was uh, Lucas Tom Thompson on the uh, tackle. So they were able to get a first down, first and 10. Christian again keeps the ball, up tripped up. Down to about the six before and he's finally Christian stopped. Runs through the middle. Got about two yards for a first down. Thompson got a hand on him. Uh, maybe a little more, three, four. The offensive line is doing a fantastic job on the defensive line, making holes. Getting breaking through that first three yards there. Quarterback Christian again. again keeps the ball, broke free, thrown Trying out of bounds. To the Christian with the key. Down here about the one. Lucas Thompson makes the stop. Lucas Thompson on the tackle. First and goal, Scott. So Caledonia with a first down. On about the two yard line, three yard line maybe. A little momentum going, driving. We're early here in the second quarter. Kinzer right the ball the carrier, the big hole, he's oh, in. But he touched him. So great blocking by the offensive line on that. Oh, you could have ran through that all. I could have got through that one. <laughs> great job blocking up front. All right. Looks like Caledonia's gonna leave the offense on the field as we we're talking about. See if they can pick up those two. It's 14-12 right now. And I think maybe they'll call timeout. And they do. Yep. Timeout, Scott. Well, it wouldn't be a bad idea to try to get it back right away. You guys aren't afraid to hit, I tell no, you that. And a very good wrestler there, yes. So anyways, here we go. A try for the two-point conversion. So Christian's going to keep, keep that. and I don't think he's going to get there. Dana Christian carries up the Stop middle. Stop short. No Flies on that, Eagles. didn't they? 14, your Scots 12. And the reason why you probably want to go for it now anyway is so that if you don't get it, get another you get, touchdown and you get another chance. keep going yeah, at it. Yep, might as well do it early on in the game. Well, great job by Caledonia here. Reds, they're down 14 to nothing. You know, Christian yeah. took their two, first two series and went right down the field and scored this around and right back in this one. Nice kick. Braggs again with the ball. He's got a little got seam. Some blocking. And the kicker, Watrous, knocks him out of bounds. Watrous. And that after a big return. All the way up to, I believe, it's going to be right around right the, the 40. 42? 40, 42 yard line where Grand Rapids Christian will take over. First and 10 Eagles. Yeah, the, the uh, Christians, they actually had a nice little blocking lane for the uh, receiver there. So a lot of times you like to see someone break through that and make that nice tackle head to head, you know? Well, it's Caledonia. They've changed their defense up a little bit here. Ritz are only playing now. They're going with four this time. They've gone from three down linemen to four down linemen, but pass. Fotis to throw. Quarterback. Good defense by uh, Fotis and Penix for Ellens. Incomplete. Break Ellens. Well, that time he was a little off. He didn't. The pass was a little short. Yep. Didn't quite. Yeah, the receiver had to come back for that one a little bit. Didn't get all yet inside position again. Ellens actually had uh, great coverage on that the whole, all the way through that. He was right with the uh, receiver the whole way and uh, played the ball. Fotis on a little option, option play to Smith. Getting to the corner. S Smith gets the corner. 
Bumped out of bounds up here. Or you, I'd say about the 48-yard line Jordan of Smith Caledonia. So first good down. enough for a first down. Well, we got a Caledonia player down uh, as he was going out of, out of play with the uh, running back there. Wave the trainer on. He's still down. Officials timeout. We're going to call timeout. Got an injured no. player down on the sideline here. So it's not in the field of play, but it is right next to the yep. sideline. So they'll call time while they tend to the. I didn't get sure. the number of who that was. No, I was just going to say I didn't either. If we had someone down on the sideline, we could have them report back to us. We could. <laughs> I could run down there quick and run back. I don't think you want me to do that either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure who that is. So hopefully, well, as he whoever was coming it is. off the side, uh, you know, off the uh, field there, it, it seemed like he rolled, and uh, a little bit of the lower back is what I'm predicting right now. Because it seems like he, he was rubbing his back from what I could tell. We got a helmet and there's something in that lower yeah. back spot. That's, you see a lot of players where that pad hangs down there to protect that spot. That was we'll get who it is. 24, it was uh, Bryce Hauser. He's wiggling his shoulder yeah, around a little bit, isn't he? He extended his arm out. Landed on it a little bit funny and rolled through it. Collarbone or shoulder or something there, right? In that region. Well, they got Hauser over to the bench. We'll resume play here with just over 10 minutes to play, second quarter. First, First down, Grand Rapids huh? Christian on the Caledonia 47 yard line. Well, uh, Christian's got a play change coming in. Again, uh, they, they see something going on with the defense. Fotis again, he's going to throw. Going to go, go deep. deep. He's got his man. Oh, good play by uh, 23. Murphy was right there with him, but well, I tell you, Bragg's had that thing right in his, right in his hands. Hit him he in did. a bad spot, he right did. in the hands, right? Well, I'll tell you about the defender that was defending that. It, he may have been uh, beaten deep, but he didn't Kyle give Murphy. up. He kept running all the way through it. Kyle Murphy Again. did a fantastic job. Fotis. Might want to give a little bit more cushion. Fotis again going to throw a little short a little this time. Little screen pass. Pass Kyle caught. Murphy with the tackle. By Thompson. Lucas Thomas with the ball. Kind of an inside little screen. It's almost like a screen Kyle type. Murphy makes the yep. stop. Ride receiver screen type play there. First and uh, 10 for the Eagles. Pull everybody to one side and then they run back against the green there. Have you over pursuit. Yep. Quarterback. Again, Fotis fumbled the ball. Able to pick up a couple yards. He won with the tackle. The ball. Taken down by Antonio, Antonio Alcala. Alcala. Second and eight. So that'll bring up second down, ball in the Caledonia 31 yard line. Fotis again, he's going to hand the counter, off. runs into a little bit of wall. Oh, he bounced off, off everybody, and number 45, Matt Ellis is going to score. Well, Rich, that's where just everybody's all jammed up in the middle. He ran into the pile and bounced outside and was yep. able to get away and go for a score. Mind you, a little bit of that wing tee they play on you. <laughs> had that look to it, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. Definitely had that look to it. But anyways, Ellis scores on a long run, 30 yards out. It was a good job by Ellis, too, to bounce it outside. Seeing the wall there, he couldn't get through it. Yeah, so good, good it out. vision of the field, you bet. So Christian, extra, extra point is good. Is good. So after that nifty run by Ellis here with just over nine minutes to play, it's Christian 21, Caledonia 12. Well, it was just kind of a big play. Rich, they were doing a good job yep. defensively Defense again. But again, if Caledonia can get the ball and 
keep this score for score here. They'll stay in this game, but Grand Rapids Christian's a very explosive football team. They have the ability to, you can tell, they have a couple of good running backs, and Fotis obviously has shown he's got a good arm and a couple pretty good receivers. Yep, that's for sure. Plenty of time left here. Like I mentioned, there's just yep. over nine minutes left here in the second quarter. Kind of plenty, plenty of time here to get something started. Kind only down by nine now, so have to keep working back. Both set to kick off. Well, Alice, he's a Alice he's a big guy too. See if I can find him here. He's 5'11". Well, I'm listening. listing was 5'11", 180, but he looks bigger than that. Doesn't he? He looks he bigger does. than he that. He does. He does look bigger than that. That might mean there might be a number out of place, but again, Ellis with a little bobble at the goal line, or Ellens. That's some good footwork by uh, Drake Ellens there. Chased out by Darius Barfield. A little bit of stutter stepping. First and ten. Getting to react to it and then the break it back outside. So Kelly to take over here in their own 25 yard line. See what formation they come out in here. Probably stay in their spread, I would imagine. They've had pretty good success with that. Christian's kind of changed up their defense now. The only three man down. Breakaway, uh, quarterback right up the middle. Christian's and a keeper. Nice gain of about eight. And a Christian, the ball carrier. Up to about the 30. Thompson, two, Thompson with the tackle on that. Second down and eight. Ball in the 33, second down. Man in motion. Christian's going to keep again. Get another. He got the first down, I believe. Nice hole up front here. First down, yeah, Caledonia. The, the ball carrier. Not a nifty Mario run by Christian's. Jones makes the stop. Be first and ten for the Scots at the thirty. Tyler Jones from Christian's got the tackle on that. First and 10, just keep plugging away at it. Just knocking first downs out, that's all you need to do. Got a man in the neutral zone, it looked like to me. Christian again running is gonna keep it. Still running. Yeah. Got a good five nice yards on run that again. Carry. He's a hard nice runner. He makes the stop. Big gain up to about the 42, 43 James yard Dockery line. James Dockery with the tackle on that one. Second down about five. You know, and uh, defensively, it's, they've been kind of teaching kids to tackle higher around the shoulder pads. In those instances, if you've got leverage, you can push against them. And Christian, he's strong. Legs, good hard runner. He's gonna give it to Kinzer that time. Stop Kinsler short of the first player. down. Gain of about two. Zachary and Ellis make the stop. Bring up third down. Had Heemstra on the tackle. Third down, about three. Third and three. Exactly seven minutes to play. Third and three, you need to pick this up. Yep. I want to have to punt here. Christian with uh, six men in. Should have been a flag no, on no that. Flag. I think well, he's got enough Christian for a first down, though. Carrier. He's Seemed like an encroachment to me, but that's that armchair talking again. Timeout. Looks like he moved. I don't know if he got into the zone or not. He was moving, but Christian, they're going to take a timeout and measure this one. It's going to be close. Want to wager a guess There's here? A wallet well, the south ticket <laughs> a wallet, first down by the length of the football. All right. Huh? I, I think it's more than that. 
You think it's more than the length of the yep. football? All right, we'll see. Marks it, first down. I mean, less first than that. <laughs> good call, good call. All right, well, first down. I was wagering something else, but. Uh, I guess we really never <laughs> talked about that. Well, first down, Caledonia. Good hard run that time. Gave Caledonia a fresh set of downs here. Caledonia has always been the, you know, uh, knock them down, run them over football team. I think Kinser, Kinser again. The Thompson with the short shot. gain, pick up about two. Talk by uh, Christian. Second and seven. Oh. Got to read the right list. Yeah, you got to call the numbers with the right color shirts, right? <laughs> <laughs> Can't have the guy running the ball tackle the guy with running the well, ball, right? <laughs> he's, he's making all the stats. <laughs> <laughs> Just padding your stats. That's it. Yep. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. All right, second down, seven. Christian's uh, reforming back to the six man down. Now he's going to throw. Good call. Pass, got him. Over oh, and he overthrew him. And a man wide open. Who was that, Ritz? That's 86. That's Cam right. Robinson. Robinson. Cam wide Robinson. Open, running downfield, wide open. Yep. And Tanner just overthrew him a little Third bit. Down. Well, when you see him that wide open, you get a little excited. Put a little bit more behind it. He was wide open. But you're right, and you had mentioned just before that, too, that Christian went back to their run defense, basically. It's a perfect call for the perfect defense, yep. really. You just overthrew him. Third and long now, about eight. Tanner's going to keep the ball. Short gain. Tanner Christian, the ball carrier. Lucas Thompson. Tackle by Thompson. Fourth and gain about five. Seven, be fourth and five. What do you think? Go Fortune. for it. <laughs> They're going to have to. Why wouldn't you? Right. You're down. You really have no reason to. Try to get the to. momentum back and right now, continue yep. on. Try Trying to draw, to draw them off there. First, and then they'll change the play, and then they'll call time, see what they want to do here. I would think Caldoni would still go for it. Why Scott. wouldn't you? Right yeah. for the most part, you're not really don't have a whole lot to play for. It's homecoming. You got a big crowd here. Yep. Fourth and five. You got a team here. You could play a little spoiler role. You on, bet. You know, Build the enthusiasm. Probably go for it. That's a good spot. You're inside their territory, right? Ball's on the Christian yep. 46, 47 yard line. You know the time. You know if you punt. And you stop them on defense, does that give you enough time to, you know, get back and get the offense back going? They very well. So we'll see what they decide to do. I think they're going to keep the offense on the field. That's a good call. I, I know you think to play conservative sometimes. So here we go, Cowbells fourth down. About five yards to go. Anticipating the run. Little rollout run. Got him across the middle, nice he pass. He does, he's nice got Rabbits in the middle of the field. Good enough for a first down. Nice catch, nice run by Robinson after he down caught the ball. Put his shoulder down, got a few extra yards after that. Official timeout. Oh, that's a huge play on Fort Town. It's a nice option. You like to see that run throw option there too. So yep. Christian with a nice pocket presence there. He had people all around, stepped up, put that ball right on the money. He sure did. Ball on the 25.
Kinzer. Bailey Kinzer got a good four or five yards on that carry. Nice hard run. Makes the stop. Ben Hurl with a stop on that. Nice. Gain of five. Nice. Second and five. Caledonia is really firing off the ball right now. Yeah, they're doing a good job. Getting up front. Christians back on their heels a little bit. Here we go, second down, five yards to go. Ball in the 20-yard line of Grand Rapids Christian. Still in their uh, run defense. Quarterback keep. Nice block. Touchdown. What a nice run. Nice block. Uh, uh, Bryce Christian had that last block along the sideline there to allow... Uh, Sprung him free and was able to Ron get him a corner and the corner there. Tanner to get around the corner. Nice hard run. Well, that score comes with 345 here to play. Just before the half. Makes the score 21-18. Yep. And Calderon will kick this one. Makes a good thing get that, that we decided back. that we decided to go on fourth down. Calderon fake. He throws got him it. He's open. got a man open. There we go. Time Bryce Christian with the, the holder. The fake. Brings us in within one point now. That brings the score 21 to 20, Caledonia. Two big plays there, right? With Pass the big pickup on fourth point. down. And then a nice oh, fake on the extra point. The Get that two point 20. back yep. to bring us back within one here. 21 20. Well, the crowd's into it now, coach. So oh, yeah. they're 12th man, 12th man. 12th man. 12th man here. You got to get them fired up here. So they're not backing down any here. They're, they're not at all. Showing they got a little fight left in them. Christian's playing a hard ball game tonight. They he's have. A, he's a tough runner. You'd just wish he was about six inches taller and about 40 pounds heavier, right? He'd, he'd just run people over. He does yep. that his size now. Well, you know, he doesn't have that fear. You know, he wants to run people. If, he, if it's not there, he's running through it. Get whatever he can get. So anyways, great job. Back like you mentioned too, the, the offensive front right now is really, really making some holes. They're really pushing that defense around. Yeah. Watrous on the kick. Bryce. Caledonia stay in their lanes. This time Braggs is out of bounds. Braggs with the return. Up around the 28 yard line where Grand Rapids Christian will take over. Rogers and Silveri. Mack him out of bounds. Is that uh, three minutes and 39 seconds? Okay. If you're if seconds? you're if your <laughs> eyes are as good or bad as mine, yes. Okay. 339 left okay. here before the half. Big halftime festivities with homecoming. Yep, I have the floats and get all this homecoming stuff. court. Big crowd, the stadium's packed. Fotis, he's back to throw. He's got pressure. A little pressure, probably got a holding call coming. Fotis. Flag down, complete. it's in that area where there could be holding, and I believe that's what it's gonna be. Holding against the Eagles. Pass coverage by uh, Bryce Christian on that. Good coverage that time too. Fotis, this first option wasn't there. That forced a holding penalty. So that'll bring up first down. That's what you want to see. You want to see some pressure on that quarterback. If you give him too much time, he's going to complete the passes. Put the pressure on, get him out of the pocket. He's going to have to uh, throw see. off balance and not make good throws. So that'll move the ball back here to about the 17, where it'll be first down and 20. Fotis to throw, and he's going to Looks hand like off a draw play. delay. And that's 81. And Jordan Smith, the ball carrier. The ball carrier. Looks like Jace, Jace Rogers, Rogers on the tackle. The tackle up around the 20 yard line. On a little draw play. They're in kind Antonio of Antonio. Hurry up. Alcala had no. the initial contact on that tackle. Got a little playing change going on over there. Maybe they see something that the Caledonia defense is in. Got a man deep. Yeah. 
One play. Tahari Briggs. Tahari Briggs. Complete touchdown, Eagles. So a long pass. To Braggs, and he caught it in stride. In stride. Nice pass. Nice catch. So a big, quick strike by Christian after Caledonia brought this game within one. Drake Allens was closing on him, but just couldn't close it. The receiver runs a little different angle. It's hard to catch up on that. Yep. Extra point is up, and it's good. Yeah, extra point is good by So Bowles. that'll bring the score now. Grand Rapids Christian 28, Caledonia 20. Plenty of time left, 243 left Eagles here in the first half. Been an entertaining first yeah. half. Wow, crazy. Sure has been. They have 48 points scored here. This is crazy. <laughs> right? Good. Yeah. If you're, uh, if you're an offensive fan, it's been all about offense. If you're a defensive you fan, you kind of wonder where it's at. <laughs> exactly. Austrian team, they are the region champions in Region A. Good luck on your quest for a state title next weekend, the 15th through the 18th. Well, Caledonia could come up with a big score here, close this up, maybe even get the two-point and – Maybe you could go, go in halftime tied. Yep. I think that's what you're Bowles going for right now is try to get in there. Going to the locker room, maybe yep. with a tie score. Close that gap. At least you go in with the momentum in your favor. Bows to kick off. Big booming kick. Sails into the end zone for a touchback. Kick goes into the end zone for a touchback. And Caledonia will take over at their 20. From the 20. So do you think they stay with the ground and pound or you mix it up like they've been doing? Well, they'll probably mix it up a little bit. Well, 243, I don't know if that gives you enough time to run the ball. Too many times. Well, it all depends on how many timeouts they have left. Well, a lot Should of times, yards. a lot of times they're always practicing that two-minute drill. But yeah, 80 yards with just two minutes and 40 seconds to play is quite a bit here. Generally, it's uh, the last two minutes of the game, not halftime. Up to see this time he gives the ball to Bryce Going Christian. Wide out. Nice pickup over here, about eight. Bryce Christian up around the 28-yard line. Bring up second down. Jones make the stop. That'll bring up second down. Jones from Christian with the stop on that. Second and two. Second down, two yards, 220. A lot of time runs off the clock. You're already down to almost two minutes here. Yep. Got to do some uh, clock so management. They're going to run Kinzer this time, first down. Bailey Kinzer, the ball so carrier. Stop the clock. And Pearl makes the stop. Yard, it's good for a Caledonia first down. 208 to play. Get the chain set, and the clock starts to run again. Caledonia's got to get a play in. they got to hurry up. A lot of time running off the clock here. Down to 150. Yeah, a they, confusion. On yeah, a little bit. Call. Burned a little clock there. Yeah, we're going to call timeout after all that. It was either call a timeout or get a penalty for a delay game. Yeah, there seemed to be some confusion on play call and personnel mixture there. So brings it down to a minute 42. 28 20 our score. Caledonia with the ball. First down, 10 to go. As you've seen with Christian, it only takes one play. So it does. I think I've heard before, too, every play is designed for a touchdown, right? If everybody blocks if who they're supposed to block and it today. goes right on paper, yeah. everyone's, exactly. everyone's good enough for a touchdown. Get down. On paper, they're all, they're all scores, the right? The X's and O's show it that way. <laughs> <laughs> so the official's getting a little water break down there, too. <laughs> water boy went out. Yep. Give him a little water. Been a relatively penalty-free game. There have only been a couple calls, really. Other than that, it's been a pretty fast-moving, well-played first half. It has been. And 
I don't think that Caledonia has had any penalties. I don't believe so. Oh, there was the one uh, mishap on the sideline where yeah, he had uh, a personal foul over up. here. That's right. On the out of bounds play. Yeah. And then Christian, I think the last one I remember is the out of bounds or the holding call back here. So it's been pretty right. well, well played first half. All right. Christian Underway. going with the seven yeah, men down. A lot down. of, lot of movement. Legs. Lots and lots of movement. Probably be a procedure against the Fighting Scots. Yep. Mark off five and be 15 and yeah, first and 15 to go. Against the Scots. Lots of confusion. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So now there's eleven guys here. I don't know. There, twelve or eleven guys. I'm not sure what's going on. How many you see? There's one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eleven. Ten, eleven. Two. Eleven white. Was there twelve on the field before that? I count 11. No, there's 11, but I think they're talking about the play before where there was procedure why Caledonia ended up with a penalty when they're saying Grand Rapids Christian had 12 okay. on the field. I don't know. I, did, I wouldn't and see. Officials are human. They make mistakes sometimes, too. Yeah, it was, it was really the case or not. There we go. There's the one play. See if he can outrun Braggs. He's still running. Nice blocking by that old line again. Inside the five yard line, Tahari Braggs brings him down. Well, there's the big play again. This has been full of big plays, right? <laughs> yes. First and goal, Scott. So two, minutes, so two minutes is enough time to go 80 yards when it you're is. on the football. As long well. as you can get a 70 yard run out of someone. <laughs> That's great. Good blocking up yep. front, like you mentioned. Actually, great job. You got to give those guys big credit up front. They're doing a really good job tonight. And good hard run. Bags on that tackle that stopped the touchdown. Touchdown saving tackle, but Caledonia's still on the move. Uh, Kinzer, short gain David down to. Kinzer carries up the middle. Down about the one. So bring up Pearl. second and down. Second and goal. And a yard to play. And a yard to go, I mean. 130 or 112 to play. Time running. Caledonia knocking on the door. They are. Grand Rapids Christian still trying to prevent that run, but the offensive line is doing a great job of blocking up front. Yep, Caledonia's been able to get at least three yards on all those carries. Get There's he, another get and he's in. in. He's in. Touchdown, Caledonia. Touchdown, Scott. Well, there you go. How about that? <laughs> Great there job, Caledonia, right down yep. the field again. There you go. 26, I'm sure they'll stay on the field, try to go into this homecoming halftime with a tie score. Even yeah. if not, this is a ball game at 28-26. It is. You know, all you got to do is have a little confidence. You can score once, you can score twice. So, so Here we go again. They are going to keep their offense on the field. Oh, mishap with the ball. He's got a man open He's in throw the middle. It. He's got a man open. Touch. He did. He caught it. He good. Way not to panic on that. He just threw it up for grabs in the end zone. Came away with it. So we do have a tie ball game, 28-28. That was a great job by Christian not to panic on that. Kept his composure. Scrambled just a little bit. Found room to throw the ball, and he did it. Well, 52 seconds left. I think the Grand Rapids Christian group over there is probably a little stunned. I'm thinking so. They're yeah. not that much going on over there. They had There's... a 14-point lead two times on offense. They went right down the field. They had Caledonia on their heels. But give these fighting Scots some credit, man. They've come back and they have. made a ball game out of this thing. So with 52 yep. seconds left, Caledonia ties the game at 28 apiece. Now we just got to stay in our lanes, break down, make Walker. tackles, and 
Going Green. at halftime with uh, tie score. Momentum. Momentum. On side, <laughs> the old momentum. See if Watrous likes to kick deep or pooch it. A little like squib. A, uh, short to the up man. Short distance. Take him out at the 33. Thompson, the ball carrier. Picked up that short kickoff. Michael Silveri knocks him out of bounds. So, although Christian has shown the ability to strike quickly. Rich, they better uh, play a little cushion here. Yeah, don't, don't get still beat do, deep. Yeah, don't get beat deep right now. Let's want to do that. And I wouldn't be surprised if Christian uh, takes all four plays and goes to the air. Well, I would. They seem to be confident in, and that's where I would say two, they, three of their touchdowns have come from. I'd be surprised if they didn't throw the ball here, but. They're looking for the pass. They can run, but Fotis is back. Nobody to throw pressure. to. This pass intended for Thompson falls incomplete. A good pressure by Jake Babb on that one. Get him out of the pocket. Get him scrambling. Falls incomplete. Bring up second down, 10 to go. 41 seconds to play. Ball on to 33. Caledonia with a four man down. Fotis again, a little short pass. Little screen inside. To Braggs. Knocked out of bounds by Bryce Bragg. Christian. Bryce Christian. Enough for a first down, out got out of bounds, stopped the clock. Ten Eagles from the, the out of bounds five. and the first down would stop the clock. So it's a double stop of the clock. <laughs> well, it only stops once, it's just. It won't start. But it just won't start again until the play put goes because of the out of bounds. Fotis again. again. Another short pass Another short out here. Pass. And Smith hit him right. Jordan Smith hit him right in the hands. Yep. Bad spot. Pass, for Smith falls incomplete. <laughs> Fell incomplete out here. A little bit of the case where you uh, want to run before you get the ball in that sense. Yeah, you're turning your head before you catch it. Yep. No. He had some yards over here. Probably would have picked up a few before he got himself back out of bounds. But as it is, it falls incomplete. That'll bring up second down, 10 to go. Ball in the 45 yard line of Grand Rapids Christian. Still 30 seconds to play here before half. Fotis again, back to pass. Looking, looking. He's got a man in Cross the middle. middle. And again, it's thrown behind the intended receiver. That time Fortis it was Barfield. Drake Allens was there if the caught would have been made. But again, Fotis is off just a little bit here. He's pass thrown behind the receiver. I'll bring up third down. Again, he's back to pass. Going to go deep. deep. And all there is is Caledonia players. Intercepted. 24. That's Bryce Hauser with the interception on that. I don't know if there's a communication thing or what, but it looked like Fos just kind of threw that thing up for grabs back there. All there was was there's three purple shirts back there. On the 20. So there's time left. There's 19 seconds left here. You yep. roll off a big run here or something crazy, but you'll see what they elect to do. Be aggressive or just take a knee and go in with a momentum tied at 28. We'll see what happens. Yep. Quarterbacks under center. Yeah, it looks like they're in that position where they're just going to take a knee. And they do. So they, we're going to wind this clock down. That place safe. You're in your own end of the field. I want to make a mistake. So, wow, what an exciting first it's half. Oh, smokes. Tied at 28. We'll head into halftime. Now, when you start out right out of the gate, Christian scoring. Caledonia then losing, uh, turning the ball over on four downs. Christian scoring again. You wonder if this was going to be a long or short night. But now it's a very exciting night. As it is, Caledonia's fought back to tie this game at 28-28. So after we'll enjoy the halftime festivities and we'll see you at the start of the second half. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Please clear the highway in front of the bleachers for all the work for the presentation of our folks. On our desk is Homecoming Court. Thank you. 
I am Andy here with Sabrina Bird, and we are representatives of the CHS Student Council. Drum majors Adam McVeigh, Tyler DeVos, and Nick Corey will be following your high school's marching band and playing through the ages after the halftime parade. On behalf of CHS, our Student Council would like to welcome parents, fans, and alumni of Caledonia, as homecoming is a time to celebrate the past and renew friendships. This year's homecoming theme is Disney. Each class created a quote that represents something that you would be associated with Disney. Presenting to you the senior quote. The senior class advisors are Mrs. Durkee and Mrs. McLaughlin. The senior class officers are President Gabrielle Lombardo, Vice President Maddie Clark, Secretary McKenna Dixon, Treasurer Brandon Hovinga, and Class Representatives Jake Babb, Daniel Kumapai, Ashley Pell, and Connor Zondervan. Presenting to you the junior close. The junior class advisors are Mrs. Corrido and Mrs. Vegas. The class officers are President Tracy Eggion, Vice President Bryce Hauser, Secretary Paul Marvin, Treasurer Ben Snyder, and class representatives are Natalie Dubay, Jordan Patterson, and Shannon Lake. Presenting to you the sophomore flow. The sophomore class advisors are Mr. Creek and Mr. Nelson. The class officers are President Tim Selke, Vice President William Weninger, and class representative Emma Hauser. Presenting to you the freshman flow. The freshman class advisors are Mr. Durkin and Mrs. Younger. The class officers are co-presidents of Justin Walter and Jeremy Vanden Powell. Co-officers, Andrew Ohm and Vivian Lee, and class representatives Amanda Birch, Rachel Crouch, Kendall Schnetzel, and Parker Daniel. Before we announce float winners, we need to recognize the boys and girls cross-country teams. Float judges took place this afternoon before the parade. And the votes were judged based on three persons who were all alone. And each of one, the float which best fits the theme of Disney is the senior float. The float with the most creativity is the junior float. The float with the overall appearance is the junior float. And the overall winning float for the 2015 homecoming parade is the junior float. This year's Powder Puff game concluded with a score of 24 to 0 with a senior victory. Every year, the student council chooses someone to serve as the Grand Marshal of Homecoming. Being a Grand Marshal is both an honor and privilege. Student council won an individual who has contributed to the community and represented Caledonia in a positive manner. This year's Grand Marshal is Mrs. Myra Diver. First of all, she is humbled and honored to have been chosen to be the Grand Marshal in this year's homecoming parade. It has been 31 years since she moved into this amazing community. Her and her husband of 41 years have been blessed to have raised three children here and are the proud grandparents of eight spunky grandchildren. Her life began in Havana, Cuba many years ago. In 1962, her parents left Cuba and sacrificed everything to bring her family to this great country that she is now proud to call her home. She was nine years old when they arrived in sunny Miami and Destiny led her to Grand Rapids, Michigan, where she grew up along with her younger sister. Having been brought up in a home where Spanish was her first language, she realized that the logical choice for her future was with her Spanish language. It became clear and obvious early on that her passion was to teach students the language that she so dearly loved. After all, it was part of who she was. She would be able to not only teach what she was passionate about, but it would be fun. Education is the path that she chose, and she has never regretted that choice. Her years at Caledonia were amazing, and she will never forget them or the many students that came to her life. From the early beginnings of ethnic studies to a group called Trust, to starting a Spanish for curriculum and becoming a department head, and to ultimately becoming a sponsor from World Beautiful You, her career as an educator at Caledonia has been very fulfilling. She is thankful and blessed to have had so many wonderful years. Her hope is that her students and her great time has had in her Spanish class while learning about the beautiful language and culture. The Caledonia Education Foundation 
Foundation is pleased to present this year's honored alumnus, Dr. Cobb, Janet Slater. Jen has fond memories of many California teachers that helped her develop an interest in the field of artistry and taught her many life lessons. He also played football for two years, but excelled at basketball, where he eventually became the starting forward. Jen married his high school sweetheart, Diane Palmer, also class of 1963. They have two daughters and four grandchildren. Jim went on to study chemistry in college, and after obtaining his doctorate, moved to Steubenville, Ohio, to teach chemistry at the Franciscan University. Jim taught chemistry for 38 years and was the department chair for nearly 20 years. Publishing papers and journals, articles, was another accomplishment of Jim's career. Before retiring in 2012, he wrote 26 chemistry and air pollution papers and journal articles throughout his career that were presented at conferences through the United States and in China. Seeing former students maturing and graduating to bigger and better things converged his calling into his career. Congratulations to Jim on his successful career. For his exemplary service in instructing students to have any questions and contributions in the Jim Slater as our 2015 honor award. It has been a long-standing tradition that we invite back to the prior year's homecoming king and queen. Last year's king and queen were Noah Miller and Natalie Avery. They will be crowning this year's king and queen at the end of the game. This year marks the second annual Resolve Game fundraiser. Teacher sales, coin drives, and sponsorships from our dedicated community have worked together to raise over $4,500 as of Thursday night for Caledonia families fighting cancer. We would like to take a moment to thank our field goal level sponsors, Clear Image Cleaning Service, Advanced Foot and Ankle Associates, h and Companies, Universal Traffic Services, Windy Lane Kennel, the Liggett family, Mrs. Megan Brown, and Dixon Environmental Consulting. Finally, we would like to thank our touchdown sponsor, the highest level of commitment to helping our Caledonia families, the Caledonia Future Farmers of America. Thank you, CHS FFA. the 2015 homecoming representatives from each class. A special thanks to Daily Floral for donating the bouquets and roses to this year's representatives. Introducing your 2015 Queen's Court, Riley DeWitt, Mallory Poning, and Gabriella Lombardo. And now your 2015 Queen's Court, and all these members are on our football team. Jake Babb, Zane Gordy, and Joseph Russo. Junior representatives, Grace Yell, Aguillon, and Jordan Patterson. Sophomore representatives, Sandy Garrels and Tim Zelke. Freshman representatives, Regan Zomer and Jeremy Vandenhau. Exchange students, Jacqueline Baptista, Maria de la Cruz Murillo, Evie Tebrayar, Emma Khan, Emma Uden, Dominique Zimmer, Marla Luna Ian Khan, and Alexandra Bernal. FFA representatives, Maddie Clark and Andrew Lancer. Maddie Clark and Andrew Lancer. Student Council representatives Leah Cook and Owen Mitchell. DACA representatives Jackie Mercier and Matthew Kicker. Band representatives, Tori Saylor, Kara Willard, and Adam McVeigh. 
Orca's show representatives, Amelia Ashby and Daniel Kumakai. And finally, our choir, choir representatives, Katie Short and Antonio Alcala. And that concludes our homecoming halftime. Enjoy the rest of the game.
Well, welcome back, everyone. After all the halftime festivities, we got everything in. We have another phone that was turned in. All the floats. It is a Band did a nice job. Everybody's here yet. Big crowd yet here, Ritz, and we got a good ball game going. We sure do. 28-28, man. Exciting. We'll see, Caledonia had the momentum going into the half there. Let's see if they can keep that up. Nice comeback after being down 14 points early. Yep. I believe we get the ball first, too. We do. Huge crowd here. Everybody's still here. Yet, full house. Always good to see everybody come out. Homecoming. Weather's cooperating. It is. <laughs> Could be a nasty night. Could be cold and windy and rainy. And it's turned out really well. Perfect night for football. It is. A little brisk, but if you're running and playing, like. That's a beautiful night. Yep. So we're getting Coach ready. It's overheating. Get ready to get underway here. Griffin Bowling. Grand Rippage Christian will kick half. off to Caledonia. Drake Allen, back deep for the Scots. And that's Bowes for kicking for the Christians. The second half's underway. Kick comes down to Allens, fields it at about the five. Got a little Breaks crease. the middle. Finally brought down about the 35 yard line. Nice return. Yep. Where Caledonia Very will take down. over first and return 10. The kick. Tackle by Harris. Hops in in the Guinness. And on the stop. Yeah, he was in now there we'll too. First and 10. Let's call a number. <laughs> It's hard to tell sometimes. You get up off the pile, you can't really tell who was there and who wasn't. But here we go. Ball on the 35-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Fighting Scott's first possession of the second half. Interesting to see what adjustments, changes each team, each has, made. team has made. This time we Tanner Outside. to Bryce Christians and nice carry around the right Boy, side out here to the 45 yard Second line that's good uh, good lead block there by Kinzer too Ellis and with a tackle nine. second and one so nice pickup on first down gaining nine brings up second down a yard to go ball in the 44 yard line third quarter just underway Grandpa's Christian going with a six-man front. Run it the other way this time. Christian keeps it. Oh, he's it. out. And he's going to score. Touchdown, right Caledonia. Christian in the end zone for Caledonia. Touchdown. Great blocking by that old line again. Oh, a huge hole up front. They're really mixing it up well. Yep. Looked like uh, Grand River. But uh, Christian was going to do a stunt there where they had the outside uh, linebacker blitzing around the outside. End up overshooting that. Again, Caledonia's doing a good job of mixing that up. And I believe he got it. It's good. Yeah. So that good. Was the score stands at Caledonia 35, Grand Rapids Christian 28 on a big play. From Tanner Christians here early in the third quarter. Yep, that was a nice block by the uh, offensive line there. Tanner Christian reading his blocks, bumping it out just a little bit. See nothing but green fields. Well, he's doing a good job reading that. He's got a guy in motion now. They're they're mixing that up now. They got Bryce Christian a couple times now in motion, cutting across. So that. That's doing is freezing the defense just enough where they can't play just the quarterback. So they got to honor that guy in motion. And that opened up a huge hole on the left uh -huh. side. Goes back deep. Great blocking up front. And Tanner Christian Watch just it. outran the secondary the for the score. A lot of times that man in motion just adds a little bit of confusion to the. Uh, just enough to freeze the linebacker or a defensive back just long enough where you can get a quick block on him or. He just makes steps the wrong way. It's all it takes. Go kind of a squib. squib kick and it's fielded down here. I'll get the number quick, number 30, I believe. That would be Heemstra. Heemstra 
just down the ball, about the 36-yard line where Grand Rapids Christian will take over. So really, we've continued with the excitement here. Lots of offense tonight. Yep. It'll be interesting to see what the uh, yardage is, ground and air. Yardage and uh, anticipate what the final score might be <laughs> right. here. If it continues like this. Will it be the last person with the ball? or It might very well be, Coach. You're right. That can happen, right? <laughs> I'm used to calling you coach, so if I do that on occasion. I still answer to it. I know it. I know it. We did it long enough where that's man in motion. Fotis is going to a little, little quick pitch, pitch to there. Smith. He's got the corner. Looks like Ellens. Jordan Smith. Ellens was there to meet him, to push him oh. out of bounds. Smith with a big gain on first down or first carry. Uh, he was pushed out of bounds a little bit short of the marker. Ellens did a good job Second on that. He had a four. man blocking him, and he uh, fought that block off just enough to. So I'll bring up second uh, down, four right yards to go. The, uh, yep. Fotis again. He's going to throw a little quick out over there to Braggs. No, I believe that was Miles Jones that time, number three. Miles Jones. My mistake. He's throwing to Braggs so much, I just figured it was him. But at that time, it went to Jones. Good enough for a first down into Caledonia territory. 44 yard line, first down. Caledonia with a three man down front for defense. Definitely trying to prevent the uh, pass kind of man and in motion. the man outside. Gonna give it inside. Yeah, counter play. Big hit. Good hit by uh, Justin Zoet. Zoet with a the big hit carrier. inside. Alcala. In on the stop. I believe that was Zoa and Alcala. Zoa with a, had the big hit there. Yeah, I think Alcala had him around the ankles and Zoa come up the queen. Got him right in the numbers. Second down, six to go. Photos to throw. Ellen's Kenny right throws there. outside. I believe that also went to Barfield, I believe. Pass complete to Miles Jones. Oh, it was Jones again. Good for My mistake, down. Miles Great Jones. Jones. Good enough for a first down. Grand Empress Christian on the move. Kind of in a hurry up. Fotis, he's going for the end zone. Yeah, we're going to get a flag. flag on the play. Fotis' pass is incomplete. There's a flag on the play. Well, they're saying Braggs was interfered with in the end zone down there. I believe that's just well, going to be He had uh, two Caledonians hanging on him there a little bit. Yeah. It was offensive. Offensive pass interference call. Well, it went the other way. Offensive pass interference. That's very possible yeah. if he's getting in there and he pushes off on the defender Correct. to try to catch the ball. And definitely, so the official saw it. That way, so big break for Caledonia here. It's gonna move the ball all the way back out to the 46 yard line of Caledonia. And that brings first down and 25. So Fotis again to throw. He's oh. gonna throw deep, no one there. I believe it was intended for Fortis. Sigler, was in the vicinity. I think he anticipated him doing, uh, cutting back to the uh, corner there. Cutting that route a little bit shorter. Yep. But as it is, it falls incomplete. I'll bring up second down. Ellens was there to defend it. Long 25 to go. Ball in the 47. Pressure. Initial contact by uh, Jake Babb. Well, big that play by the up. Caledonia defense that time. Andrew Furwire puts him to the ground. Be third and long. Well, big play by the defense. Now it's third and forever. Rich, I believe it's they have it third and 32 for Christian. Now they're way back on their side of the field on the 45 yard line. Doing nothing but go backwards here. Yeah, that was definitely great pressure by uh, Tim Babb. Shed that block. Gun Fotis to throw. Still fighting. It's under pressure. Long throw. <laughs> That'll bring up fourth down, and I think for the first time in a long time, somebody's got a punt. <laughs> I think it's the first time they've had to punt. <laughs> I 
Well, great job by Caledonia coming out of the locker room. Great Put a score up and get a stop on defense. Yep. You can get another score job. up here, give up two scores, and it doesn't become the back and forth. The uh, defenders on that are doing a great job. Well, they're playing inspired football tonight, that's for sure. Pass protecting. So, kind of a short, wobbly kick. And it'll be downed. So, uh, 27. Right here at the 27 yard. That's a good field position for Caledonia. And a nice job on defense. Great pass coverage. Great pressure by the defensive line. So, here with eight and a half minutes to play. Caledonia with the ball again, up 35 to 28. There's a lost phone at the south. They appear to be playing with a lot of enthusiasm right now. Believe yep. me, they're really playing fired up. Well, when it's homecoming, you bring a little different level to the field. No one wants to lose on homecoming night. No, and you got a good opponent in the whole thing. So, again, Christian's on the keep. And a Christian, the ball. Nice area. gain. James Dockery. James up Dockery on the tackle on that one. Up to about the second down and six. 32 yard line. Pick up, up about three or four. Bring up second down, six. Well, they need to try to keep this on the ground and take some more time off the clock and keep that ball away from Grand Rapids right. Christian. They got a lot of weapons. They can score quickly. Just keep it on the ground. Christian again on the keep. Seems like they should. Can a Christian, the ball carrier. He's still on still his feet. With the stop. He's going to wiggle and push his way for a first down. How is. Normally that would be, uh, you know, what do they call that when you stop the ball and nobody's moving? <laughs> I thought they were going to blow the whistle, and right. next thing you know, he squirts out of the pile and picks up three extra yards and gets a first down. <laughs> So as it is, the ball on the 41, first down for Caledonia. Christian's still going down with a five-man front. He was trying to top, stop this that time he's run. Keep it. Again, short gain of about two. Tanner Christian, the ball carrier, brings the ball up to about the 44-yard line. Grab his ankles. Bring up second down. Michaelic Price on the tackle as well. Seven or eight to go. Second and eight. Right at seven minutes to play here. Caledonia on the move. Kinzer, not much there. He got a couple, maybe one. Kinzer, the ball carrier. Dockery makes the stop. Dockery with the tackle. Third down and six. Third down and six, ball on the Caledonia 45 yard line. Man in motion, Christian keeps, got a big hole. Tanner Christian, stepped up by Hudson Hoxie, but he gains the first down. And Good enough for Caledonia, Hoxie. first down. Hoxie nice on that block tackle. And get that, you get that seal block on that end there. Rich, and it allows him that corner. Good job. He's doing a good job reading that, too. Yep, that offensive line again, still sticking with their blocks. So first down ball on the 45-yard line of Grand Rapids Christian. Caledonia on the move here. And I believe Caledonia is going to call timeout. Well, Kelly's on the move again here. They are. Red stick. Scott's. Momentum is definitely on their side right, right now. Right now, they're California very. The fire department is hosting an open house tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 2. So they're doing a really, really good job up front. Christian's running hard. Kinzer's running hard. Be so. I know they're getting a lot with that too. You'd be surprised if they change their offensive set maybe here and there, give them a. Getting comfortable with that and then yep. change that look up. 
every once in a while. It's sure Caledonia's advantage. They can run two different offenses. You know, they can run this spread offense and they can run their wishbone, and they do both very well. Which uh, makes it very difficult for the defense, obviously, because you got to switch your defense up for whatever offense they switch out there. And being able to run two of them like that and being being efficient both on both. Both, uh, yep, they do a very good job. Christian's doing a nice job back there tonight. He's running hard, playing yep. inspired. Yeah, you bet. Doing a great job. Got to give kudos to the Caledonia defense, though. Yeah, they got came up with a stop. They're first down, Kinzer again. Got a little bit of a crease over here on the right side. Bailey Kinzer, the ball. Short gain. About three. Stop. Bring up second down, seven. Had Ball Miles Jones the on the tackle there. 42-yard line. Well, as long as you can pick up three, four, like we'd mentioned. Yep. Yeah, you don't need it all with one play. Sometimes it's nice when it happens. No, but, but it, this time-consuming ball control offense is good. Just drain mm -hmm. that clock Now he's going to throw. He's got a receiver got a wide open. And a receiver breaking open late. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Robinson again the over there, but down. Christian saw him too late and threw to the middle. That good call. Coach had been running the ball, running the ball. Yep. See if he can catch him off guard. You bet. Throw a pass. He did have a receiver breaking open, but a little bit late. It's easy to see from up here. <laughs> Real easy to see from up here. Kind of hard when you're standing amongst the hard tall to, guys down there. And hard to throw, though. Well, anyways, brings up third down and seven. Kinzer keeps. Uh, pick up up only two. Yeah, so Christian doing a good job down. there. Good it's defensive. gonna bring up another fourth down. Good defensive stance by Graham Fish Christian there. Had 71 on the tackle for Christian. Um, That's Ben Howley. And I'm sure Caledonia will go for it here with no doubt about it. Ball on the Grand Rapids Christian 39 yard line. Fourth down, five to go. Here we go. Christian, depending that they'll be able to defend for the pass. He's gonna throw. Pressure. Gonna run, he'll have gonna it. Run. Still going. He's going to score. That was just an incredible run great, by. Well, I tell you what, he's a great athlete, isn't he? Yep. Another big fourth down play from Caledonia, and they score. Great vision of the field. He's having, he's having a heck of a night. He's having a, he's having a great day. Kick is up. And it's good. So at 4.06 to play in the third quarter, Caledonia is now up 42 to 28. Wow. A little flip-flop there now. Leading by 14, where in the beginning of the game, it was vice versa. So Caledonia's come right out of the locker room. They're coming right after it here. They are. Be nice to have the uh, defense answer again. I can't say enough about it. Christian he, Tanner Christian is just playing a heck of a ball game back there right now. He's he, just a just running hard, playing hard. Yep. You know, and it's and you'd game. mentioned midway through that second quarter, that offensive line started to take over a little bit. That's they right. Were they, really uh, knocking some really holes and stuff. Up. They're doing a fantastic job up there. Got the kickoff. Well, he touched it. It's in a. The ball goes into the end zone. <laughs> Boy, he touched that thing before the goal line there. Huh? <laughs> right. Deep, but as it is, it rolled ball into the end zone. 20 now. Or Christian's going to take over, but see if Caledonia's defense can come up with another big stop. 
Christian, it's going to be hard to shut them out the rest of this game. they got a lot of weapons back oh, there. Oh, they, they do. They can score in a hurry. Yep. As they've shown earlier in the game. Pass, pass prevent. Give a little extra cushion. Certain uh, key players on Christian that can, uh, they got the uh, legs to uh, beat us, so give them a little bit cushion so then we can defend that. Keep everything in front of you, right? That's right, Colt. Timeout, Eagle. All right, so Grand Rapids Christian doesn't like what they called to start off with, but again, big crowd, big fired up crowd here. Everybody's still yep, here. Everybody's sticking around. Big group going. Great homecoming atmosphere, the whole old deal going on here. Everybody's having a good night. It's always good when you're ahead. <laughs> that definitely helps. <laughs> yeah, I can't comment enough here. Yeah, Calinoy has really come on strong after that slow start, but Boy, ever since then, even coming out of the locker room after the half, they've really, well, really kept up that momentum. Combination of many things, you know, coaches making adjustments. Hey, you can't get to a certain block. You make, uh, help out with some blocking assignments so that uh, you can have some bigger runs from Caledonia that we've gotten lately. Fotis to throw. He's got a completion over there. Fotis is pass complete. Might have been to Dickens. We got Bryce Hauser on the tackle. I think that was to Dickens. I'm not sure. Shirt there. So Christian comes out and gets a first down right away. First down. A little hurry up there, right on the ball again here. Time running. Three and a half minutes to play here in the third quarter. Fotis again, hands off inside. Nice come up. Nice tackle. That was 81 with a tackle. That's Antonio Alecchia. He read that play all the way and filled that hole right then. Come up, made a fantastic tackle. So no gains. That brings up second down, 10 to go. Ball in the 37. Fotis again back to throw. In trouble. He's got a scramble. Throw across the middle and it's picked off. Bryce, Bryce Christian picked Bryce it off. Christian. Stepped in front of the receiver and picked that pass off. With the stop. Well, defense answers again. So another big turnover for Caledonia and puts them in great shape Caledonia at the 35 yard line. 35. First down and 10. So there's the turnover bug. That's two yep. big ones tonight. Both times, Thanks. the first time Caledonia scored. Hopefully they can score in this one. So Bryce Christian steps in front of a pass. It gives Caledonia great field position. First down, 10 to yep. go here on a 35 he yard that line. All the way, Brian. I mean, he's seen that ball. Yeah, he saw that ball coming. Like you that. bet. You could see him. Give inside to Kinzer. Bailey Kinzer. Little or no gain, maybe a yard. Well, the tackle was made by Miles Jones. That'll bring up second down, about nine. Oh, clock continues to run. And as we kind of mentioned earlier too, Brian, is that it also all times comes down to, you know, penalties, turnovers, it kind of really. It does, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you can look at all those things and see how they affect the game one way or another. Uh, like we said, the first turnover led to touchdown for Caledonia. Yep. This time he gives the ball. So Austin Watrous. Watrous, who's the kicker, Jones. Ah, carried the ball. Around the 30. Number seven made the tackle on that. That's uh, Hudson Hoxie. Third and five for the Scots. Personnel change, third down five. Ball in the 31 of Grand Rapids Christian. Caledonia on the move. Just under two minutes to play. Third quarter. Wishbone. So they did. Go. They switched back they switched to the wishbone. Back to the power run. 
Ground and pound. Oh, center yeah. sneak, right off the center. So out of the wishbone, Tanner quarterback Tanner keep with the carry. up the middle. Grand oh, no. Rapids Christian, they're still trying Personnel to change. on that uh, so interior defense to make those four. tackles. And it, Fourth down short. and a yard. Fourth and, and a yard. The line is just firing off the ball, getting them on their heels. See if he tries to draw them off sides. He doesn't. Hand off over here. Kinzer still running hard. Bailey Kinzer. That was James Dockery on the tackle. Uh, Helmet came off when he made that tackle. Ruling when the helmet comes off, you have to lead the field of play. Yep, for a play, you got to leave, but another nice job. At first down for Caledonia, ball all the way down on the 15 yard line. Stay in the wishbone. Good clock management. Again, she keeps right up behind Velting, the center there. Tanner Christian, the ball. Pick up of all four or five. Godwin with the stop. Second down. Well, they're mixing it up right now really well. That's they're right, Bri. Good to wishbone look, spread look, running quarterback keeps out of that <laughs> stocked up run look. Yeah, that's great job. Fullback, they're going to run the other way with Zoet. Good hard run. Justin Zoet, the ball carrier. Yep, that uh, tackle. Uh, lead stop. blocker had that kind of kicking out to the outside there. And, uh, Third down. Four. He's ran into it About at first feet to time. cut it inside, yeah. So here we go, the end of the third quarter with Caledonia up 42-28, but they're on the move. They are. With the ball on the nine-yard uh, line. Got about four yards Caledonia for a first down. Oh, well, wouldn't this be a stunner if they put that six more on the board? And who would have thought they'd score 49 or even more right. with 12 minutes to play here on Grand Rapids Christian? <laughs> Crazy turn of events here. <laughs> <laughs> must be the, must there... be the 12th man. Or you. <laughs> right? Didn't blame it on you tonight. Yeah. Or You'll take the credit, won't I you, will. if it happens? Sure. sure, why wouldn't you? <laughs> 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 I would. <laughs> but anyways. The winning number in the 50-50 raffle, 294. Eight two four six. We've got to get their raffle two, nine, tickets four, out. Yeah. Eight two four six. Imagine it'd be a big pot tonight with all the people if that here. Is your ticket. Please go to the South Concession Stand to claim your prize. All right, so here we go. Start of the fourth quarter. Ball will be on the nine-yard line of Grand Upper Christian. Third down. About oh, four yards to go for a first down, and about and nine yards to go for a touchdown. So they're going to stay in their wishbone look. And that time Christian Oop. keeps with nothing. Almost looked like it was yeah, just a little bit of a broken play on that one. I well, he's, like he's done that where he like runs a quarterback follow, I think, there, okay. so to speak. Four. Kind of a, it's a little delay there, but they're going to make a personnel change here, and they'll probably go back to their spread look. Oh, well, fourth down, the so they're going to get a f try for the field goal. My mistake. Watcherson, this is no more than just an extended extra point really here, so kick is down, nice kick is up, and it's I up. think he's got it. It is good. Oh, fantastic. Good. So Watchers, well, about 30 yards away. Tax on a field goal. It gives us Caledonia not a touchdown, but still points. Points. So that's three scores, right, yes. instead of two, which is huge. So as it stands, with 11-18 to play, fourth quarter, Caledonia goes up 45-28. to So they got points on the turnover. Very important. Very important. Those are things that you want to capitalize on. You know, defense so they goes out there. They work hard. Playing very inspired football right now. They really are. If they can keep this momentum up for another 11, 12 minutes, they should come away with a nice homecoming victory here. But we don't want to. We've seen a lot of crazy things happen. <laughs> I mean, well, that's for sure. We scored and caught Christian in the first quarter when we were down 14. So I don't want to speak too soon here. Right.
Big kick over here to the left side. Big hit by number 12. That's Michael Silvery. Here is Barfield. Returns the kickoff. Michael Silvery steps up and makes Silvery is the correct pronouncing. I think I seen a mouthpiece come out of that hit. Rocked him pretty good. It's a big hit. So here we go, California on defense again. Christian, uh, looks like they're going to go to this spread and wide out and we keep throwing, try to get Cal some Noni's quick answers. done a really nice job of uh, defending this here in the second half. Little option play to Smith over here on the short side. Got a big gain, stepped out of, out of bounds. bounds. Number 81, Smith. Antonio Aclea. First and 10, Eagles. Gonna put Christian quickly back under center. First down, ball up here in the 33. Fotis again, short pass. Gonna Good out here, tackle by Miles Jones, Jones on the reception. Yeah, at Hauser, Rogers. Good for about nine. Rogers and Hauser make the stop. Pick up of nine. Bring up second down. Doing those quick hits, you know, we we're giving a little bit of extra cushion. Don't want to get beat deep. Nope, same thing again. Another short pass Otis out here to Jones. Jones. Knocked out by Drake Ellens. Another Ellens 10 with yards, the uh, attack on that. 49. Drove him out of bounds. Not the big one, not the big pass. Or yeah, don't get burnt. You can keep those in front of you. Short. A tie bonus. Andrew Herwire was caught for a loss. First contact on that. Big loss all the way back out here to the Grand Rapids Christian side of the Second field on the 48. 13. Jake Babb also in there to assist with the tackle. Now brings up second down, 13. Jake Babb is really firing off the ball. As soon as that ball snapped, he is driving through the offensive. Again, Fotis in trouble. Scrambling, Caledonia again's got him for a loss. Looks like uh, I had 58 on that tackle. Fotis hit in the backfield by John Kleinbrink. And that's who I had, John. Third down, 16 to go. Again, Caledonia's defense Klein is Brink. getting through. Some of these names are tough, but we'll get through them. Oh, yeah. And photos to Good look. He's trying to go deep. He is. He's going deep. And it's. Good pass incomplete. covered by Ellens. Gave just Boy, enough cushion and, and reacted to the ball in the air. Broken up. To make up Ellen. the time. But as it is, that'll bring up fourth down. down and Grand Rapids Christian's going to have to punt again. Bows in to punt. Well, they've been forced to punt two times in a row now here. Yeah, the defense has really stepped up. They're not even going to try to return the punt. Maybe uh, more importantly, they want to make sure there's no fake. There is a fake. There's a fake. Maybe. Oh, nope. Now Pooch he's got a little soccer style kick on the run. Rugby kick. Down so Caledonia's defense again stops Grand Rapids 10. Christian. Now it just becomes take time off the clock. Yep. Knock first downs out, move the ball downfield, keep it on the ground. Three, four yards at a time. My guess would be they'll go back to their spread set, I would think. But you never know. I've had good luck with that. No, nope. looks like they're going to stay in their wishbone look. He's going to throw. Can a Christian keeps and runs. Throw the flag, man. Yeah, everybody's yelling. He was hit after the whistle out of bounds. Right. 
Godwin. So everybody's yelling. Well, a lot of times it's hard to slow that momentum when you haven't heard the whistle. If it's right at about the same time, it's tough to make that call. And Second as you can down. see, they didn't throw the flag because they felt that way. So after that late hit out of bounds, Christian's out of the game here for a minute. I think he's got a cramp, maybe, or something. Yeah, a lot of times, you know, when you're out there sweating so much, you got to keep hydrated. So I think that's keep that. Silveri that takes over at quarterback, I believe, isn't it? Yep. Fumbled the ball, ball's on the ground. There's a Turnover. Play. James Dockery comes up with the ball for the Eagles. Well, that's what happens. You got a new quarterback in the game. It's cold and yep. a little bit that's happening. So there's the, the first 20. turnover in favor of Grand Rapids Christian. So there's the turnover again. Yep. Didn't have a chance to take any snaps on the sideline. You know, periodically, maybe it'd be a good thing to do that once in a while. We're just so such a emergencies that pop up there. Yep. Tanner ended up with a, some sort of a cramp of some sort. He looks fine. He's walking around on the sideline. See if the defense can hold here. Fotis again on the option. Pitch outside to Smith again. Jordan Smith, the ball carrier. Bryce Christian knocks him out of bounds. Severi came up and put a nice little hit on that quarterback. You do that often enough, he's going to get rid of that ball sooner. Yeah, so they're putting good pressure on him. Official timeout. So we do have time. I believe there's a Caledonia player down. It is no, Bryce Christian Bryce over Christian. on the far sideline. Didn't see him go down on that play. but Appears to be like a cramp issue as well. Sitting, He is sitting up. But anyways, it's going to make this game a little tighter. Hopefully, Caledonia's defense can dig in here. It is second down and 10. Ball will be at the 11-yard line when play resumes. Fourth quarter, nine minutes to play. <laughs> Caledonia on top, 45-28. Good ball game. Exciting it's a great ball game. game. Now they're going to... A lot of those two-way players, you know, they got to stay hydrated on the sideline. As soon as they get in there, you got to get a drink of water. Uh, cramps always come from hydration. Yeah. Yep. If you're cramping up, you're not hydrated. So, looks like Bryce is okay. He's jogging back across this this side of the field. Good news. Get that muscle loosened up a little bit. So it'll bring up second down here, as we mentioned. 10 to go, ball on the 11, so they can get a first down before the goal line. He's Looks gonna like throw, pass. ball's tipped. Oh, oh, and almost picked off. Yeah, we had, uh, it looked like it was Jake Hurry Babb here. with a hand on that ball. And somebody got their paw up there and knocked that pass down. They'll bring up third down, third and short, third and a yard. They have it as third and 10, but the marker has it third and a yard. Scoreboard has that incorrect. Yep. It's third down in a yard. We'll keep the fans third right. Third and ten. The chain gang won't be wrong. Those guys are on top of it. So they're gonna hand off inside. Oh, nice tackle. Gorby around the outside. He come up there. Smith, the ball carrier. As soon as he seen the ball wasn't going outside, he cracked right down the line Zane there and made Gorby a great tackle. With a stop. Could be enough for it might be enough for a first down. I don't know. They're taking a close look at it. They spot it just the other side of the 10, and I think they're going to measure. We're going to measure. Yep, looks like official timeout. It might be close enough. Well, this would be huge because that would bring up a fourth down. Yep, fourth and in inches for first and goal. Now, if the lines on the field are straight, I believe it's first and goal. It is. By about three quarters length of the football. <laughs> First and goal, Eagles. Right? Yep. All right, here we go. Just under nine minutes to play. Grand Opera's Christian. First and goal at the Caledonia 10 yard line. 45 28 in favor of the Scots. 
One play at a time. Defense needs to step up. Fotis keeps. Going to be Good run read. down. For no game. Jake Irons that read that and seen that the quarterback had the ball, trying to get it out the outside, and came right up and made the great tackle. No gain. Second down. Second down and 10. Clock continues to run. Fotis again, a little pitch out here to Smith. Just gonna get the corner. to the line. And I believe he's in. He stepped out of stepped bounds, out of bounds at, at the one, the one yard Smith, line. The ball carrier. So Jordan Smith, Smith's fast. At about the two yard you watch line. the defenders have angles, and he, he can't outrun the Another angle sometimes. So he, he's a quick back. That little quick pitch to him is so going to bring in the muscle, I believe. <laughs> going to bring in Ellis again, <laughs> Ellis. 35. And 36 is still in the ball game too, and that's going to be K.J. Goodwin. So there's some beef in there. Here they come, it's Ellis. Got him in the backfield. And they got him stopped. Matt Ellis, the ball carrier. Got Jake, da Jake Babb on that tackle. Fine break. So here we go, it's gonna bring up a fourth down. Fourth and five. So fourth and four, four, and four five yards to go. And I think Grand Rapids four. Christian right now is gonna try to at least get the field goal portion of this back. Bows in for the field goal. Down and up, it's plenty of foot, yard and it's good. Goal. And it's good. So actually, Calanoi's defense held. They did. Allowed only the field goal, so that brings the score now. 45 to 31 in favor of Caledonia with seven and a half minutes to play. So that 14 point difference there. So that's a win on the defensive side that time. Christian was moving, they had a big break there. Got a fumble recovery deep in Caledonia territory and the defense stands up and only allows a field goal. Yep, that's a uh, kudos again to the defense, you know, because They've done a remarkable job. They've hit the fumble recovery well, by Christian, and then you got to get back out there. He just got off the field. You got to get back out there and play ball again. Well, you think about it, they've held Grand Rapids Christian to three points in the second half so far. 28 in the first, three in the second half. So, yes, absolutely. We got to <laughs> we got to go with the defense Bo here. Was set to it, put it in play. Ellen's back deep. So Caledonia's defense has done a great job here holding Grand Rapids Christian to only a field goal in the second half. Trying an onside, onside kick, kick. And it does get away, but I believe Caledonia's gonna recover. It got covered by uh, Gorby. Well, you gotta do that now. You wait, you see a lot of teams wait to try to kick that onside kick later, later in the game. The and off. you don't have time. They're, they're down two scores yet. They gotta have some time with the football. And so it gives Caledonia the ball in good shape at their own 40. We're gonna mark it at the 39 with a big first down. And they'll go back to their spread look. Grand Rapids Christian still sticking uh, to fight against the run there. Good initial hit there by 35. Bailey Kinzer. Kinzer, a short gain of about a yard. AJ Godwin makes the stop. Uh, short gain, yard. I'll bring up second down and nine. Second down, eight to go. The most important part of this right now is keeping that clock moving. That's right. Maybe even taking a little extra time in the huddle. Yeah, really milk this. So you got to really. Really take time off. Keep an eye on that ref. When his hand goes up, you have five seconds to get it off. Bryce nice little run Christian. there by so Bryce, Bryce Christian, Christian. Carries the ball. Hoxie. Turns the corner. Hoxie knocked him out of the bounds. Third down and four. He's going to take a breather. Watrous comes in, uh, one of the other running back spots. 
Bring up third down, third and four. Ball on the 46. Got to get a first down. Grand Rapids needs to uh, keep the clock moving. Tanner's going to keep it. Ball out. So the ball's on the ground again. Grand Rapids Christian the thinks they have it. If Caledonia does keep possession, it's no gain. It is Grand Rapids Christian football. Another turnover. So another big turnover by the offense. Now we got a penalty. Devontae Dickens recovers the fumble. Tempers are starting to get a little fired a up out there. Flagrant foul. Dead ball on sportsmanlike conduct against the Scots. Oh, that one against Caledonia. So that's a huge penalty. Gives Grand Rapids Christian the ball on the Caledonia 31-yard line. Yep. But so a big ball. turn of events here the on the turnover. See if that's had any effect. Defense has got to dig in again. Good pressure. Gorby from the outside. Gorby that time. Well, that took care of that penalty. Great answer by the defense. Good pressure on the quarterback. No, they're looking. Yeah, I don't know how they can call that flag when the Offense is looking over for against the Scots. I didn't see any contact. No, and the quarterback at that time too had made the call and it was looking over to get the play right. from the sideline. But as it is, it's another five yards. Still is second down 14. Second down. Ball on the Caledonia 34. Keep the receivers in front of you. Otis again, back to throw, no Pressure time. Again. He's got a, got screen, a screen set up. Jordan Smith. Big Great job tackle. by uh, Antonio Alcalea. Makes the tackle. So Alcala kind of with a saving tackle yeah, there. Smith's sure very was. fast. Grand Rapids Christian in a hurry up. Got excited, thought maybe we'd get a sack there, but it was all planned. Third and eight. Fotis again, little little low. Good coverage by Ellens. So that's going to bring up fourth down. You think their kicker could get it this far? He's got quite the leg, Grand Rapids Christians. Yeah, he's they got to go for six here, I'm yeah. thinking, with five minutes to play. So here it is. Third down and eight. Or fourth down and eight. I think it's fourth down and eight. Scoreboard has it wrong again. I got to keep watching the chain gang. Don't, don't let anybody back deep. Post again, back to throw. He's Pressure. going down. Andrew. Number 33, Andrew Herwire on the tackle. Caledonia. And Caledonia takes over on downs. Yeah, great defensive. Stan. We got to give the second half to the defense. Not only offensive scoring, but right now you got to go with that defense. Yep, you bet. The old line is uh, still needs to be commended. You know, without that, you're not going to score touchdowns. But that defensive touchdowns. unit is really putting the pressure on yeah. right now. Well, Caledonia's going to come out. Wishbone, second back through. Kinzer, nice gain. Bailey Kinzer, the ball carrier. Six Allen. yards on that. It's really what they like to do. They like to go to that wishbone. Yep. They can run many plays out of that as we yeah. coached we in our younger years. Learned a lot about that <laughs> offense over the years, you bet. Well, what this does too, Rich, it keeps some of the hits off of uh, quarterback Christians. So, counter play. Justin Zoet. Zoet. The ball carrier. Short gain. 
up over the 45 yard line, close to the 46. And on the stop. Bring up third down. Yeah, I believe he was down third before that four. ball even came out. So. Yeah, he was way well, well down. So it's third down, four yards to go. Ball in the 46 yard line. Clock running, 420 to play. Calinoy still on top, 45-31. Graphics Christian still sticking with their six, seven man down front, trying to fill every gap that they can. Well, Calinoy needs three yards here. This is this will be huge. Running off tackle. I think he made it. Bailey King here. The tackle was uh, made by Matt Ellis on uh, from yeah. Grand Rapids Ellis Christian. So great blocking on the right side of the line gives Caledonia another first down. Well, you chip a couple more first downs away here and running yep. that ball with a clock running, and yep. you'll be in pretty good shape. So ball right about midfield. First down for Caledonia. Yeah, offensive line is still doing an incredible job getting to the block, Christian, staying uh, with them. Quarterback follow. Got a holding play or a clip of some sort, Again, maybe. Christian, the ball carrier. Any time that comes, Scott. hold against Caledonia. Holding called against the Scots. Dickens with the tackle on that. But as it is, we're down to 337 to play. Still first down if it's holding. Yep. Down stays the same, just a loss of yardage here. So that'll bring up the first and 20. It's a little bit of a challenge out of the wishbone. You just typically don't get 20 yards on four tries, but no, 10's easy to get most of the time, but we'll see. Don't be surprised if you see a pass out of this formation. A lot of definitely times, is, he's with watching this formation, the, they're going to definitely. Watch, the, yep, there uh, we go. The official just watches the official get down to five second count, hand the ball off. Good hard run, good job blocking over here on the left side. Justin Zillett. And about six the yards of that here. back. Yep. Good Play strong run Jeffrey. by Justin Zillett. Timeout, Grand Rapids Christian. So, Grand Rapids There's Christian. Second. Calls timeout. Uh, James Dockery on the tackle about, there. With <laughs> just over three minutes to play. Fourth quarter. Caledonia up. Ball will be at the 46 yard line when we resume play. Second down, 15 to go for a first down. Well, if you're a Grand Rapids Christian right now, what you probably want to do is you got to get a turnover. Well, they've gotten two here in the second half, but the second one they weren't able to do anything with. But you're right. Punch the ball out, knock it down, try to get a try to get a fumble, and we're get the quick score and underway. Then do your onside kick. But as long as Full back. continues to run, Bryce Christian's going to score. Touchdown, Caledonia, <laughs> on a fullback, right up the middle. You get, you get seven yards. It. They haven't run him all night. Nope. And that was a big surprise up the middle. Now the, that brings the score to Caledonia, 51. <laughs> Grand Rapids <laughs> Christian, 31, 72 points. If wow. you like offense, you came to the right football sure game did. tonight. And we got a little taste of defense in the second half, though. We did. A little bit on the Caledonia side, which yeah. is good. You know, yeah. one on both sides. Nope. But that really, ah, that might be the dagger, Coach. That might I'm be the dagger. So. We'll see. There's still plenty of time left. Watrous' kick is up, and it's good. Tax on, 52. So with exactly three minutes to play in the fourth quarter, here at homecoming, Caledonia 52, Grand Rapids Christian 31. Crazy, exciting. Oh yeah. Whatever you want to call it, this is great. <laughs> well, you know, when we first started talking on the mics, you know, we got a little uh, size going into the crowd and two scores right away from Grand Rapids Christian. Yeah. And, and then battled back a little bit. And well, they hung with it. And ever since that first part of that second quarter, they have really come to life and- They sure have. And really stuck with it. Didn't lose any momentum at the half, nope. nothing. They came right out nope. and really put it. That's difficult to do, you know. You go in at halftime, you get cooled down, you come back out, and you got to get going back up. Holding offense with those kind of weapons Grand Rapids Christian has, 
uh, to three points here in the second half is really a you got to take your head off to that defense. That they've done a great job with that. Yep. But Ian, what is that? Well, Yogi Bear, it ain't over till it's over. That's right. <laughs> Briggs back deep. So we're at three minutes exactly to play. And Watrous's kick, little squib. Down here at the 20, picked up. Staying in the lanes. Picked up by tackle Barfield. By number 41. That's Jake Getting Irons with a tackle. Returns to kick. Jake Irons stops him. Kickoff team First did a fantastic job staying the in their lanes. Make the initial contact, slow them up, and then you can make a tackle right after and that. Clean up, you bet, after that. All right, so Grand Rapids Christian takes over. First down, ball on their own 36 yard line. Caledonia's defense can put up another goose egg here. That would be great. Probably be about the time you see a trick play come out. So they're down three score. Grand Rapids going to make something happen. If they're going to make something happen, they got to make it happen soon. But I think they have a different quarterback in the game, I believe, if I'm off to look. It is. 14, Isaac Dykema is the new quarterback. Gorby. Got John Belting that had a tackle. Number 50 going in for Caledonia, and that's Hunter Smith. Fumble. Like balls out. Somebody picked pick it up. up. He's not down. He was not down. There was a whistle. Picks up the loose ball. There was a whistle. But they did go with a different quarterback. Fotis is out of the ball game. I don't think he's hurt or anything. Coach, it's just maybe no, time to change something up and see if they can make something happen. That or you uh, give some of the underclassmen a little bit of playing time. and Well, it makes you, you wonder a little bit with a handoff on the first play. You wonder, I'm not sure if they're they're taking a lot of time here, too, with the clock running. I, there looks to me like maybe they've maybe conceded a little bit here. Yep. I'm not sure. But Caledonia's going to call timeout. Scott. Kind of hard to say. You know, players I, hate to, I hate to say that. There's only a minute 42 to play. Big 20. You got 21 <laughs> points. 21 point yeah. lead. Change of quarterback. There, it may be they. They're not going to score three times in a minute forty. So maybe they have conceded just a little bit. A little I'm not bit. sure, but. Um, Great opportunity to give the other. Uh, yeah, some other guys don't play as much. Chance uh, to play chance a little bit here, here, but wow, what a surprising game by Caledonia. They, yeah. Oh, it was. You know, they really could have come in a little flat. They've. Been kind of beaten up the last four weeks, you know, but they've played a very rough schedule like we'd mentioned at the beginning of the year. It's pretty tough to go through the teams with the likes of Mona Shores, Rockford, Lowell, you know, those teams are always up there. And they've been they've been beaten kind of soundly too. Right. But give the coaching staff and the kids a lot of credit here, yep. Coach. They came out and really stuck to it here on homecoming and gave the fans really something to cheer about and Make the season here a little bit for them. Kind of uh, makes it all come together. It does. Win. So we have another whistle. Now Grand Rapids Christian's going to call timeout. 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 Eagle. So this last minute 42 might take 10 minutes to play. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not totally sure. Right. But. So, anyways. Congratulations to the Caledonia kids and coaching staff and everybody here for really playing a really wild football game tonight. Yeah, really it was sound, it really. was wild. I mean, didn't quite know how it was all going to turn out there for a little bit, but well, they stuck to it. You know, they don't didn't get away from doing what they do. You just got to do what you do and do it well. And and they've done a great job tonight, just sticking with it. And they just were more physical than the other team tonight. To yeah. me, they're just Kind of beat them man on man here a little bit, and, and uh, you could see that as as each play went on too, Brian, because and adjustments were made 
right up in the beginning there. And as we got into the second quarter, we could see that we were moving the ball better at that time. So the pitch play that time went to Eric number 25 is Eric Lane. The pitch came from um, Dykema. Short gain over there. James Fry. Out of bounds. Stop. Clock stops at a minute 34. Brings up fourth down and about 10. So Caledonia could get another shot, and I'm sure they'll just try to knee out or run the clock down if they in fact they can get a stop here. Little pitch play again pitch out, out here. Lane again. And he's going to be stopped there. short. Fry 28. And I think he was James stopped Fry short. On the stop. Caledonia should take over on downs here. Minute 20 to play. Caledonia Stop takes short. over. Down. Caledonia will take over. First and 10. Timeout. Scott. So Caledonia takes another timeout. Well, looks like they're going to switch a bunch of. They're going to change a bunch of personnel some up. Players here. in there that maybe haven't played uh, so very. Today. Maybe get some seniors in the game, stuff like that, right? Is yep. that what you're doing? So very. Let them get their jerseys dirty. Yeah, he's making big wholesale changes now, but with a minute 20 to play. Caledonia well in control of this one. Big crowd. Most of this crowd's still here. A few have left, but. A lot of people still here yet oh, tonight. Yeah. Beautiful evening. Caledonia Pierce uh, gonna come away with a victory here on yep. homecoming. And uh, a nice one at that. Starting so we'll see, out. it looks like maybe they got, just gonna take a few snaps, take a knee. They do. Silveri takes the knee. Clock will run now. Well, when the score is final, Rich, it's probably going to be surprising to a few people out there. And oh, definitely. Score watching everywhere that. Well, a lot of times when you're at another ball field, you'll hear the announcements of other games that are going on, and when they've heard 14-0, Grand Rapids Christian, I bet. Probably figured, oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's about right. That sounds it's going to happen, but as it was, Caledonia really stuck with it. <laughs> yeah, they did. And, um, well, you never give up until the final whistle. No, oh, this should be it right here. This will be the final snap of the ball game with the clock ticking past 11, and that'll do it, folks, right here. And one more game. What a great win for Caledonia. Well, congratulations to everybody, coaching staff, kids, yep. for playing a hard game and Fine showing really what they're made out of. It's Caledonia, Caledonia football. Yeah. And I think that's yep. what everybody's been waiting for. So, again, Grand Rapids Christian, um, Came out of the gate fast. Scored 14 quick points. Had Caledonia down. Thank you for Caledonia Ansel got the game tied at the half. And then took over here in the second half and held Grand Rapids Christian to just a field goal. Very impressive. Yeah, that was very impressive by the defense. <laughs> well, again, Rich, thanks for filling in tonight on the homecoming game. Oh, night. you bet. Last you minute. Bet. I know you've helped before, so we had a great time tonight. I hope everybody well, anytime enjoyed. Anytime you can talk about football, I enjoy doing that. That's right. So once again, here on homecoming night, Caledonia wins this one, 52 to 31. Hope everybody has a great evening, and we'll see you next week. Thanks again, Rich. I'm Brian Bennett. Rich McCarty. Take care, Caledonia.